All right, so to the surprise of basically nobody, we are going to be getting a brand new LR Super Janemba in the game very soon. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's dropping in about 16 hours or so. I could be wrong, but I did see on the Dokkan Wiki that there was a bunch of other stuff scheduled for that time, so I think that's when Janemba also comes out. But once again, not 100% sure. It could be a couple days maybe, but regardless, he will be here very, very soon on JP. And uh, finally, last night, they decided to release the unit details as well as the super attack animations. So in today's video, we're going to check out everything to do with this unit. And uh, with all that said, let's uh, jump right into it. So starting with his card arts here, I'm going to be honest, man, I'm not exactly feeling this pose right here. I mean, it's it's fine, I guess, but just for an LR Super Janemba card, I was hoping for something a little bit different. I mean, he does have a rage mode here, and this art looks amazing. Like, I really like this one, but this one right here is just okay. I mean, it might just be my, my problem. You know, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it, but uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the art for Janemba here. But anyways, not a huge deal. Let's now move over to the animations. And I haven't watched them at all. I was saving it for the video so you guys can get my, you know, real live reactions. So let me just pause the music and we'll turn up the volume just a little bit. Oh, here we go. And let's get it. Okay, so this must be the active skill. Okay, okay, um... Wow. Wow, those are some amazing animations, guys. I mean, I've always loved Janemba. I've said this many times now, like, I, I've always felt like Janemba was the best looking, like, aesthetically the coolest movie boss, you know, a movie villain of all time. Um, even though I wasn't, like, a huge fan of him from, uh story perspective like he just didn't really have much of a personality right like he was kind of like kid boo like just does a lot of crazy stuff makes a lot of crazy noises but doesn't really say anything um but dude his attacks have always been so sick and his design has always just been so nice to me and like janemba has never looked better than this man he has never looked better than this so i mean regardless of what he does it's it's kind of a unit that I gotta have. Um, so yeah, I will be summoning for him, of course, when he drops. You know what? I'm not gonna think about that right now. That's that's in the future. Right now, let's focus on just what he does. But dude, these animations are awesome. We got the 12 key, the 18 key is, is this one right here. And then we also have the super attack nullification, which is um, similar to Gogeta, except for Janemba. He's nullifying the uh, last base super attacks. Whereas Gogeta's nullifying physical super attacks, right? And then we have his active skill, where he goes into a rage mode. And then we have two different super attacks for the rage mode. 
And then I think the little scene at the end where he's like laughing like crazy is um, when you revert back from the active skill. So from rage mode to the normal. But uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Those animations are insane. These animations are insane. I love it. I love it. You know what? Let's just finish it out. We're so close. Let's just finish it out again. Just play it through one more time. There we go. <laughs> I love that. Okay, okay. Moving on, moving on. Let's uh, check out what he does. So we're on the Dokkan Wiki. And as I said, he hasn't been scheduled yet. It just says July 2021. The data download should be happening within the next like 12 hours or so. So hopefully we get a more concrete release date at that time. But I do think it's probably within the next like 24 hours or so that he'll drop. But uh, anyways, leader skill is corroded body and mind or movie bosses. Category key plus 4. HP attack and defense plus 150%. 12 key super attack, colossal damage, and lowers defense. An 18 key super, mega colossal damage, and greatly lowers defense. <clears throat> and then his passive is attack and defense plus 120%. Guards all attacks as the first or second attacker in a turn, plus an additional key plus two, up to six, and attack and defense plus 22%, up to 66%, with each attack performed as the second or third attacker in a turn. And then high chance of nullifying enemies' key blast super attacks. So that's what you saw in the animation, where, um, you know, Goku launched the, super, uh, the Kamehameha, and then he blocked it and canceled it out. So basically, when this activates, you don't take any damage from those super attacks, and high chance is 50%. So half the time, when you are about to be hit by a key-based super attack, you will cancel it and not take damage. And then he has a rage mode, which can be activated when HP is 66% or more, starting from the sixth turn from start of battle. Once only, and links are big bad bosses, love to see that, shocking speed, metamorphosis, brutal beatdown, fear and faith, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So essentially the same as, you know, the uh, other Janembas in the game. And the categories are Movie Bosses, Transformation Boost, Exploding Rage, Corroded Body, and Mind. Oh, of course, you know, other Janembas don't have Legendary Power. But the other other links are essentially uh, the same. And uh, his additional attack and defense boost is calculated separately. Okay, so when you get three attacks in total as the second or third attacker, then you will be getting a total boost of attack and defense plus 265.2%, which is significant. That's a, that's a huge boost for an LR, especially considering, you know, the stats he has, right? Up to 19,850 attack and 14,788 defense. But um, let's let's break him down. Let's break him down. So for the leader skill, it's it's good. You know, he's a dual leader. 150% key plus 4 is really really solid even though it's not like a new category it's the same thing with uh like the fizz angel golden frieza right where he didn't lead any new categories but he did bring a new leader skill to those categories i'm pretty sure this is the first leader that gives key plus four and 150 percent across the board for both categories so um you do have quite a few options in terms of team building with this guy and then for the super attacks uh lowering defense is good you know lowering defense greatly lowering defense uh, I do wish that he had maybe some other kind of, you know, effect with a super attack, but it's nothing to complain about. That That's still going to be useful, for sure. And then his passive, 120 to start for attack and defense, and then guards all attacks as the first or second attacker in a turn. Now, typically when it says this, it means that he his guard will only activate after he attacks. So... Um, essentially in the first slot, you would have to be a little bit more careful with him if there are attacks before he gets to attack. Of course, in the second slot, there won't be any attacks before he attacks, so, um, generally speaking, he will be, I guess, better as a second slot unit. Also because of the fact that, um, you know, you have this additional attack and defense boost and also key boost as the second or third attacker. So, I guess if you don't get lucky, it would take three appearances for him to max out his passive but if you think about it on the first turn if you get an additional super then he's already going to be getting two stacks of this uh passive here so he would be getting key plus four and attack and defense plus 44 percent and then the next time you come back you attack again as the second attacker 
and then he's going to get his full passive. So even though it could take him a little while to fully build up this passive, it really shouldn't take you that long, especially if you give him a little bit more additional in his hidden potential system, right? So uh, yeah, Janemba is looking really good. Of course, I can't forget about the high chance to nullify enemies' key base super attacks. Although I wish it was great chance. I wish there was no chance, actually. I wish it was 100%, you know, just nullify enemies key blast super attacks. That would have been nice, but I guess that would have been a little bit too OP. I don't really know. So high chance is 50%, so half the time you'll get this to activate. And, um, you know, you're probably not going to get it when you need it most, just like when LRUI Goku takes a super attack. It always seems to hit, man. I don't know why. Like, my UI Goku dodges every single normal, and then a super that's gonna kill me comes his way, and then Goku just forgets how to dodge, you know? So, anyways, 50% uh, chance to nullify super attacks. And then we also have the rage mode. So, let's quickly take a look at that. So, for his rage mode, it lasts one turn. The 12 key super attack causes destructive damage and has a high chance of performing a critical hit. And then the 18 key super destructive damage and high chance of performing. A critical hit and passive is receives an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained so that is actually really key because in rage mode they're not linking with each other so it's hard usually to get a super attack off but with this it makes it significantly easier to get key right so i like that and uh yeah that's pretty much it man that is lr janemba i don't think he's like super fancy by any means right he doesn't do anything that special i mean outside of the nullification of key base super attacks but um he's gonna be a premier tank in this game especially in the second slot where he's gonna be guarding against all attacks as opposed to in the first slot where you might take some hits without guard right but in the second slot you know with him building up the attack and defense with him guarding against all attacks and also getting a massive attack and defense boost he's gonna be such a good tank man he's not gonna be really taking damage I mean, maybe outside of like Extreme Super Bad Road where he's going to be taking some, but he's still going to be one of the better tanks on your team. And uh, his damage should be quite good as well. I mean, I haven't seen the actual numbers, but just based on what I see here, he should hit really hard and just be an amazing, amazing tank. So uh, just a great unit, man. I mean, I don't know where he would rank top 10, top 5, but... He's definitely going to be up there. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for him, man. Definitely, definitely excited for this Janemba. Just because it's a Janemba too. Like, I just love Janemba. I just think he's a great villain. So uh, there you have it, guys. LR Super Janemba on the way. Something that we've been all looking forward to, I think, for quite some time. He's finally coming. And uh, to anybody that's summoning, good luck. And of course, let me know in the comments, based on what you see here, based on the breakdown we just did, what do you think about him? Do you think he's good? Do you think he's bad? Do you think he's mid? Whatever your opinion is, let me know. And uh, that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.